In the yard, John C. tests the panels. Electricity has two different measurements. One is, is voltage, voltage and one is amperage. And think about it like water. You know, when you think about pressure of water, that's like voltage. So I can have a little tiny hose with really high pressure and squirt you from across the room, right? Or I can have a big old fire hose and squirt you from across the room. So the pressure, you can't tell how much water is coming out. Amps is like the amount of water. How fast will it fill a pail? I can have a really tiny hose. Even if at high pressure, it'll take me a long time to fill a, fill a bucket. But I can have a big old hose that's just going blur, 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 you know, like blur, No blur, pressure, blur. but there's no pressure, hose. and it'll fill the bucket really fast. Okay. Or I can have a huge hose at really high pressure and fill the bucket ultra fast. Like so they're, they're completely like independent. So okay. voltage is like, is like pressure, and current is like the flow of water. So we're gonna look for, it's gotta be at least 14 volts. Anything above that's great. So we've got 19.7 volts, wow. so that's perfect. Um, as long as it's over 14 volts, we can charge our batteries with it. Okay, let's so let's see, if we're, we've got enough juice, we should be able to see this thing alight. Woo. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We can see more than see oh it alight. Oh my light. gosh, it's that is bright. That and is. bright sunlight. And it's getting so hot I can't hold it. Oh no, it's John C is probably one of the best teachers and mentors that I've ever had. He's very easy to talk to. He's very good at explaining things. Um, he's just very understanding. He doesn't get angry. And he's really fun to work with. He makes learning fun. And then I'm going to check the current on these 3.27 amps. 